Well, the highly contested race for the Hamilton County Commission District 1 seat is finally over, and a new man will be filling that seat. Randy Fairbank snatched the win last night over incumbent Fred Skiller with 51% of the vote. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin is live now outside CSLA, where many parents say they're relieved a new man is taking over that seat. Jerry. That's right, Calvin Latricia. Good evening. Um, today, um, Fred Skillern has been the commissioner for the past 13 years in District 1. And today, many parents at CSLA say they agree getting a new commissioner could mean a uh, better chance of getting a new school. Randy Fairbanks knows he has big shoes to fill. Mr. Skillern has served uh, honorably for a number of years. But he says the residents of District 1 and the county need new blood. The people that came to me that asked me if I would run, said they just wanted somebody more accessible in the community and somebody more that they could talk with and, and uh, some new ideas. He says he plans to make the most of the county's discretionary funds. Mr. Skillern held those discretionary funds in, uh, over a number of years and built it up to like $400,000. And most of the people in our district, uh, that was a concern to them. They need that money in the schools and they desperately need that money. And parents at CSLA say even though they aren't in District 1, they appreciate having a county commissioner in office like Randy Fairbanks who places a value on school funding. They've been fighting for a new building for years. In March, the county commission voted to approve four school projects and CSLA was not one of them. Our student program is growing and growing and growing and we just want to make the opportunities that our current children have, we want to make them available to more and more students. And as Fairbanks understands it, parents feel Commissioner Skillern wasn't very open about much of his decision making. Anytime you're dealing with the uh, uh, citizens and their money, those need to be out in the open and public meetings. Uh, those needed meetings do not need to be private. And back live now. I called Commissioner Skiller earlier today. He said he had no comment. Meanwhile, Fairbanks will take over as the official winner after the general elections in August. Meanwhile, um, he and um, Commissioner Skiller were the only two candidates. There was no Democratic candidate. For now, we're live in Chattanooga. I'm Jerry Askin, News Channel 9.